Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about something. Is Holes of Torment too easy? Well, <laughs> after my last video got a 14 comment thread, after a person said, and I quote, Garbage game. <laughs> if you can't beat it on the first run, it's literally wasting your time. If you don't value your time, then you might like it. And he followed with, Why would this be a joke? Is the truth. The game is basically loose over and over again with no chance of winning until you get enough permanent upgrades to win. It's just a matter of time. It isn't skill based, so it isn't satisfying. It's just to kill your time. Now, I'll prove to you that <laughs> that's kinda correct, in a way, the game is very much skill based, especially early on until you don't have enough upgrades, but I mean, look at this Shrine of Blessings, area, max attack speed, max damage, 3 points defense, 2 lining, 1 fire, 4 goal gain, max health regen, max health capacity, moon speed, like, look at all these upgrades, a revive, I'll do something. I'll refund the revive, and I'll do a little experiment. With all the upgrades and everything I have, this is pretty much the, like, the most basic of, like, broken builds. For character, I haven't played yet, so it has no upgrades. We're gonna go on the hardest level, which is, uh, level 3. I'm not quite sure which one is harder. And I will pick only the top options, right? And I will have auto hit on. So I cannot aim. So whatever the game wants me to aim at, it will do, right? I'm not clicking. You can see my mouse. It's doing whatever it wants. So we're gonna pick only the top option. Let's go. We have orbs. All I can do is move around. That's it. I cannot do anything else. All I can do is move. So my movement, which is one of the most important parts of the game. But aiming is also really important because, you know, you need to hit something. So, all right. I can pick the good ones. Only the top option. So let's go. We got range. And we'll see if the upgrades are so overpowered that, you know, maybe maybe Mr. Gunslave is correct. It's only the upgrades. So we'll see. Do I give you kind of <laughs> a little bit of a spoiler? These sort of games, that's their whole thing, right? Vampire Survivors, you can't really beat the first time you try. Like, it's really hard because you don't have the good upgrades. You don't have anything. You don't have the, the gear in this game. You're missing a lot. But as you play, you start getting better and better. But you also get upgrades. I will say, a couple of upgrades and a bit of skill has like the game's... The game is at a perfect difficulty level, but that gets <laughs> quite, uh, that doesn't matter that much, I'll be honest. Like, the second you get more upgrades, I, you could do whatever build you want. You can pick the shittiest build, and that's what I'm gonna show you. I, I'll pick the shittiest things because I am forced to pick the only the top option, and I can't even aim, so let's see if, uh, <laughs> you know, the upgrades, uh, are gonna carry me. Now, there are a couple of tricks that you need to know. Once an ability reaches level 3, you can get an upgrade. Good. If you did the 3 million damage achievement, it has two upgrades, meaning you can actually upgrade it twice. So, what you want to do usually is get a couple of abilities at level 3 and then pick a scroll so you're pretty much guaranteed an upgrade so you don't have 5 skills that are useless, right? So that's one of the little things that you need to know. Of course, movement and want to attack is important, like boss mechanics, but the bosses, you know, the hardest boss is the first one, not even close. Even though I think the last boss is the most fun, the first one is the hardest. Just because of its mechanics and uh, how it operates. Lock strength, it's, that sucks. It's an ingredient. There you go. You have like these dudes spawn, which is like little army men. I'm not gonna use the roll, by the way. Just nothing. Only the top option. Man, so far we're, <laughs> we're getting some bangers. <laughs> block strength, hell yeah. I just block is such a dog shit build in this game. Okay, this is gonna be a long... <laughs> it's gonna take a while to kill this boy. And it's gonna be hard upgrading my skills since I can only pick the top option, but we'll see. I might have to get a couple of skills just so I can start upgrading them. I mean, I have max attack speed and max damage, so <laughs> will that matter? Oh man, come on. <laughs> At least I'm gonna be really tanky, which I'm gonna get hit way more since I can't... Uh use my abilities but uh we'll see we'll see what is this a bit i have no clue she made them just shoves groups of enemies away for shield that means skills with block strength well that's fine Again, i have no clue what this character does never played it it's the first time i'm playing it right although the first time i played the sorcerers with the lightning uh i won <laughs> this was so easy but you know so this is what vampire survival actually needed after some time for it again to still be difficult you need a max curse right so there is this upgrade that made everything harder but also gave you more experience so early on, it actually became kind of hard once you got max upgrades. But the game is balanced for like two points in any upgrade, right? So like two damage, two attack speed. 
after two points, the game is not balanced anymore. It's just too easy. So, yeah, this is what all of these games suffer from. The same with Soulstone Survivor. That game, again, it's kind of hard at the beginning. It's for like the first few levels, it's really hard. Then it's so easy, it's brain dead. And then yeah, it does this thing where if you don't have the absolute most broken build at the really high levels, the screen is so filled with enemies, you just get hit guaranteed. So, uh, these games get harder is... They they have a bunch of range projectiles that hit you. So, <laughs> yeah. We'll see if this game will do this. The last wave, the two minute wave, you're so surrounded, but you're also getting shot at by projectiles. So you lose a lot of health before the boss. You lose around 100, 200 health, depending on your build or you just die. Oh, that actually, that's nice. So, we'll see. Whenever it gets more stages, more levels, they definitely need to upgrade the difficulty ASAP. I am personally kind of down with the game. Because for that reason alone, Meteor Strike. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can actually win with these garbage. The orb is pretty good. Meteor Strike is fine. It's the first time actually using it, but I saw it. Uh, without Transfiction, I don't know <laughs> if we're gonna win, boys. I'll be honest. That's a broken ability. So we'll see. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of done with the game, which, I mean, for four bucks, I got like 15 hours out of it, but I'm not in the mood to get it max level, um, all the achievement and everything, get 100% experience. That's not something I really intend to do because it's too easy now. So, I mean, the, the guy who wrote that, I mean, he kind of has a point, man. I'm never killing that guy. <laughs> oh, wait, I just I'm never killing the horseman. Bro, why does it look like the top trait is the, the worst always? Oh, never mind, guys. We won. Got, we, we got Transfiction. There we go. And this is gonna be something else, huh? With the auto-aim. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. And good thing I'm a really tanky character. I'm gonna start... Ooh, or... There you go. No, start looking for more... Um, more crates. This map is very good on the crates because you know exactly where the crates are. On the side. And you go up and down, up and down, and you find the crates. So... It's pretty easy, but it's really hard not being able to target where you're hitting. <laughs> it is really uh, like a hard mode, <laughs> not being able to aim. Fragile chance, man, I'm get these upgrades are something else, huh? The game really does- <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, m maybe Mr. Gunslave wasn't correct. Maybe I can't do this. This is such a bad idea. Okay, come on. I need, I need some healing. I'm gonna continue looking for crates find some healing that horseman is not dying by the way yeah he's not look we just have to accept this fate he will forever run around and annoy me he's not dying i'm trying my hardest great chance crit damage oh my god level 3 orb that's nice yeah i don't know about this meteor fire strike thingy thank you reach level 30 very nice I have some kind of useless stats that i'm really missing a lot of damage okay maybe i can kill this guy <laughs> oh man my <laughs> Okay. Oh, shit. This might be the hardest Oz of Torment challenge. Shit, shit, shit. All right, all right. This, this is not good. Nothing is really dying. Come on, Mr. Horseman. Okay, maybe if I get a bit more health regen, you get lucky. Oh, there we go. Crit damage, damage. Okay, that's fine. Again, as long as you don't look at any, <laughs> any of the other abilities which are infinitely better, then you're not gonna get sad while doing this challenge, right? Okay, maybe picking this map just because the horseman is making things way, way harder than they would be normally. I think something like the first or like second map would be pretty easy because most mobs would just run at you. But I think we got this boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, hit him. Stop, stop missing. Oh, there we go. Let's pick it. Oh, no! <laughs> this sucks! Golem? Really? Bro, that's not okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, man. If it got painful incision, that would have been good. Okay, attack speed, block strength. All right, more block strength, I guess. That's good. And we can finally use block strength for something. We should be able to kill this guy. Uh, by the way, for items, I'm gonna pick the first one on the left. All right, that's the plan. It's okay, Mr. Shield Maiden. Stop missing. Yeah, if I would have picked Warlock, that would have been cheating. I, I that I would do not. <laughs> he just got him, bro. You see the horseman just moved this guy. Like, come on, let's go on a ride with me. Yeah, the Warlock is cheating with the auto aim, so I don't um, agree with that. I don't know which is the easiest. I think this would be really hard if I was. Okay, we got electrified orbs. That's fine, I guess. I'll get that. Fine, the other one would be better. If you use the ranger for this challenge, I think it might literally be impossible because you need a lot of crit and damage on that ranger. So you might die if you get some shit like this. I will see. Look, 
the more we progress, like, the game has kind of a cap on a lot of your skills. And after a while, you stop getting them until, like, a certain level. So, I should start getting some better... Okay, I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that, that was bad. We should start getting some better um, kills soon enough, right? At least that's fine for, like, the fire and, and my golem running around. Oh, man, this is gonna... Oh, no, this is gonna be horrible with these... With the Doctor Who... No, no, please don't. Oh, shit. I can't look at them. Okay, oh, okay. Some movement speed, that's fine. That's good for the orbs. Bro, this is not, not good. Not good. Die. Okay, additional projectiles area. Good, we got them. Come on, something good. Oh, transform the damage type of your main weapon into electricity. Wait, I don't have this one yet. That's nice. And then we got another oblivious. Wait, I have two things. What's the other one? When retrieved, allows the cupbearer to increase the amount of available strong wine. When retrieved the and bought, allows the cupbearer to increase the amount of available potions of oblivion. Very interesting. This challenge is getting rougher and rougher by the second, I'll be honest. Although this really shows, if I win this, it will show two things. My movement is impeccable. And I am a gamer, alright? That, that's that's the first thing it proves. It proves that I am really good at this video game and games in general. But the second thing it proves that you can kind of pick whatever bullshit you want if you have a lot of upgrades. But, I mean, you can see I'm not, like, sitting still. I can't sit still. I, I would die. I have to actually have really good movement. Oh my god, really? Range 3? Oh fuck. The game has a point where it's very much skill based and luck based because come on, of course it's luck based. But it is very much skill based when it comes to fighting bosses and movement and what to attack and whatever, right? That is undeniable. <laughs> but come on, the upgrades do make things easy, so but we'll see. Stop it! Okay, so this really proves that the shittiest upgrades are always at the top. Area 3, come on man, just Give me something good. Man, fighting the Hydra, that's gonna be rough. Okay, I got a Frost Knight. This uh, this guy is gonna is gonna smack me around for a little bit, I think. Okay, that didn't hit me. Fuck you. Yeah, I'll take the, the cursor of the screen. It's also distracting me. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, good thing I have a lot of health regen. <laughs> I'll be honest. Good thing I have a lot of health regen. It's really hard to dodge shit here. All right. Bro, there's so much fire damage and burn chance. It's really, it's really not necessary, man. Like, come on. I don't even know if I upgraded any other ability. I okay, I, no, I think I, ha I can upgrade my transfiction and I can upgrade my orbs again. And I have a golem level 2. Bro, what the fuck is this? What do you mean range 4, goddammit? Oh shit, that was clean. That was a clean dodge. What the hell? Okay, that wasn't really that clean. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can upgrade my transfiction, which would be really good. Okay, so first item. Plated boots. Sadly, I have to pick that shit. Alright, anyways. Let's start heading up and get my magnet. A okay, good block. Bro, did I just create for 2,500? <laughs> like 2,700? The hell? It's happening. Oh, come on, man. Alright, some health, fine. Health is good. Okay, I mean, at this point, might as well give me more block. Like, if you get block, you, you need to stack block or else it's useless. So, get as much block as you can if you want it to do anything. Okay. Damage Meteor Strike. Upgraded Golem. That's nice. Go, Golem, go. I really want to do a full summoner build, but I literally need to unlearn upgrades for it to be fair. Which, come on, no one is ever doing that. Ooh, nice, more block. No one will ever unlearn upgrade. It's not how gamers work in general, right? You can't put upgrades in a game and expect people not to use them. That's just dumb. So, yeah. I hope they do an update and add the course mechanic, right? So, make the mobs stronger. That's what the game needs. Sure, man. More area. I mean, I guess area is fine since I can't aim. But I'd be honest, I don't think range is doing anything. So, um, kind of pissed I have to have that. <laughs> A range 4, that's so useless, alright. Oh, damn, look at them. They're so dead. <laughs> they actually are, okay. Okay, we're gaming. No, no, no. Okay, nice, got a magnet. Okay, more golem. Okay, good. Now I can upgrade like three, three or four abilities. That's really good. So the second... Actually, no. <laughs> I have level one meteor. That's bad. But the second we have a scroll, we have a really high chance to get an upgrade on my abilities, which is really good. That's one thing that you only need to pay attention. Don't pick up a scroll before you get upgrades on it, right? You have three upgrades on your abilities. And try to have two abilities that you can upgrade. So you're 100% safe. Come on, man. Hit him! God damn it, hit him. There we go, there we go. He's getting it. 
Never mind. Man, when the Hydra comes, I'm, I'm gonna be fucked. Literally, that's gonna be the hardest part. Like, 100%. Okay, come on. No! <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Where are my upgrades, bro? Phantom Needle. What the fuck? Really, man? Phantom Needle in this build. Oh my god. This this build can suck my ass. Holy hell. <laughs> Bro, I have level 7 transfiction and <laughs> I have fucking nothing to show for it. I really need a backwards upgrade or else this, this is gonna suck. Yeah, I'm not gonna put anything in the well. I might get an echoing band and that's the most broken item in this whole game. So yeah, we're just gonna wait. Okay, we hit 10 minutes. I don't remember anything interesting besides these boys. These boys are fine. Plus one piercing. That's... <laughs> that's fucking useless. <gasps> Holy shit, how many useless abilities I'm getting. That's insane, All right? Go up, okay. Oh, let's keep moving. I need to get that other upgrade. Hopefully, man, like I need to get a transfiction upgrade. If I get another skill and I have six skills, I might, I might freak out, right? I might scream in pain and agony. That might be a thing I do. Okay, that, okay, this is really good. This is really good. Come on, well, let's make an entryway. There you go. Free damage bonus. That's just fine, I guess. Be fine. Okay, this is getting <laughs> that's getting scary. Can I get more block while I'm at it? Like at least give me more block. I would feel like safer. Okay. No <laughs> not range again. What the fuck is this, bro? What do you mean range five? Let me upgrade my abilities. Bro, this is okay. Great damage bonus. Uh, I mean I'm if I crit I'm already killing them. I really need more like damage. Consistent damage or more tankiness. To be fair, I kind of would want more tankiness because um, this is kind of scary. Base crit chance. All right, fine. That's fine at least. Man, those needles. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, that block. Blocked again. Get good. Blocked again. Holy shit! I'm a gamer. Always block, never miss. Okay, this is gonna. This is this is where it gets rough, boys. This is where it gets real rough. Bro, I am right near my screen. I am hardcore concentrating. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, it's dead. Charge up. I, I'm just reading these. Okay, so let me... So I have to pick this. When, when hit, drop 10 spikes on the ground. I deal 100 damage and stun the enemy on contact. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we can pick that. Charge up when you move. When fully charged, it emits an electric shock. With that damage and stuns enemies. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now I am gonna just book it. Right, never stopping, just running for that scroll, and then we're gonna look for a magnet and head back down and put an item in the um, in the thingy. That's the plan right now. I should have been a bit faster. I, I literally forgot to get the scroll up top, so let's go do that right now. Bro, I can't even kill them because I'm not like looking at them. Okay, more defense. That's good. Defense and block go really well together because defense reduces your damage taken, and then it can be blocked. So a lot of the time you take zero damage if you have like stupid defensive stats. Nah, fuck you! Suck a dick, holy shit. Alright, fine. Yes, we're not doing that. Man, I forgot I need to, like, actually go and do that faster. That's a big fuck up on my end. That's a big one. I'm really curious how my damage is looking, by the way. Like, like what's doing damage and what's really sucking. Okay. I, I can see whenever the meteor hits, it actually kills a lot of things, so... I'm glad. That's good. Movement speed and block. All right, that's pretty good. More movement speed is good for my orbs. They deal more damage. Oh shit! There we go. We're gaming. We're gaming. You okay, guys, skill based gameplay. Okay, I have one of these. I think I have like two more scrolls, which hopefully I can get two skill upgrades because I do not need more skills. I don't need any more level one skills, bro. Have <laughs> look at this. This so I need to pick oh, area five, bro. What do you mean area five? That sucks. Like someone is trolling me, bro. That thing lost so much health when he hit me. What the fuck? Bro, oh, hit the correct thing. God fucking damn it. Oh, I can't even move properly. Come on, come on. I need that magnet badly. Pick up, bro. I need damage. Yeah, I have 500 health. I took the revive out. I I wanted it to be like fair, right? If I die, I die. I don't want the revive. That's kind of that. That's that's you know, that's gonna be bullshit. So if I die, yeah, I'm dead. So no revive. Okay, come on. Yes. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. We got... I can hit backwards. There we go. That's good. And needle upgrade as well. Good. Have this fucker remaining. That's all. That's everything that's staying between me and my win. Come on. Bro, with the hits backwards. There you go. We got we got the most broken one. Transition. If you want to win, you just pick that, that skill. Oh, my fucking god. All right, fine. Now we have ring blades. Sure. Sure, man. Ring blades. Fuck yeah. My favorite. No, level one ring blades. With three minutes remaining, all right. Let's hurry up and um, let's save an item. I want to save these like really interesting items. I'm gonna try to save the spike boots or the ring of thunder. I already have the ring of fire. Let's let's retrieve these. Those are more interesting to me. Now let me go. Oh shit! Let me get a magnet, and then we're just gonna sit here. If it ends with a single attack. Oh, attack speed! Hell yeah. Sure, man. Okay, moving speed is fine. My orbs move slightly faster. Fragile chance, affliction chance, right? Good, 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 good. We're getting some good items, right? This is not the worst. I mean, if we get to the boss, it's GG. I just need to survive two minutes. The end two minutes, that's gonna be the only hard part out of this, this whole, like, thing. And we're gonna check damage at the end. Okay, got a dam golem damage, good. Okay, <laughs> this is, this is kind of joking around. Oh, nice, more achievements done. That's good. If you want to quickly progress, you have to do all the achievements because it gives you experience on your the other runs, which is going to make, again, make things easier in turn. So, yeah, always look for uh, doing your achievements. Man, the lack of upgrades on my Meteor is... Although it's kind of funny, like, I got 3 million damage with Meteor and I have two upgrades for it and those do nothing. <laughs> So, yeah. Although I think the ring blades and the phantom needles, holy hell, those suck. They're like level 1 or 2. This is not something that I want to have right now. Okay, fine, sure. Anything that can allow me to survive. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit more experience. Things are dying like farther away from me. Look how much experience I have around. Come on, give me that shit. The lob. Okay, damage on my orbs, good, sure. Bro, I'm about to win, am I not? I think I am. Bro, I want to make... <laughs> Man, guys, I think Gunslave 420 something might be right. This game is too easy. Is this a waste of time, guys? What the fuck am I doing in my life? Oh, man. Can't believe it. I'm wasting my life. God damn. I <laughs> I was it. It's a really fun challenge. Like, legit kind of a fun challenge. And we have the boss. Nice. We got the range on my thingy. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's go. Come on. I mean, this boss, like, okay, just look at the mechanics. I personally think it's really, really fun. Like, the first time I did it, I had a lot of fun. Bro, why are you hitting sideways? What the fuck are you doing? Bro, hit the dude. Oh, my God. Auto aim is dog shit. Okay, come on. I need to beat this fucker. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, stop, stop, stop sucking. Stop sucking. All right. Sorry, sorry. I'm concentrating. Sorry. Bro, like, none of my skills attack him. That's embarrassing. It's like legit nothing really hits in the orbs do they don't do single target damage at all i should not even like look for the orbs my ring blades also not i have my golem my transfiction and my hit and my meteor i mean that's not even hitting him I mean, he's not even trying to hit him it's gonna be a long fight boys although i have a lot of regions so i think we're good it's just gonna take a while hit him what the fuck are you hitting? Bro, the auto aim is getting distracted. This sucks. I have to get really close to him for it, for my ability to actually hit him. Holy shit, I'm right, fine. I like hug him a little bit. He needs friends. The No, the Lord of Darkness also needs friends. I can't leave him like this. Oh. That was bad. Yeah, I'm a bit too close to him. Okay, so sorry, sorry, boss. No, no hugs. All right, bro. I hate the fact that they get like centered on these boys because they're considered enemies. So just keeps trying to hit them. They're like the second boss has those weird orbs that you can hit and they block your damage, bro. Like no sweat. I'm literally regening health fighting this guy. It's like the world's most dog shit build ever devised. <laughs> bro, how much block do I have? I'm blocking everything this guy does. Like if I ever get hit, that's funny. Come on, hit it. Yeah, there you go. Come on, hit him. Hit, hit, hit the Lord of Darkness. There you go. We're gonna speed this one up, huh? <laughs> yeah, we really, <laughs> we really need to speed this one up. This is quite the experience. 
Oh, there you go. I hit him with the balls. There you go, Mr. Lord of Darkness. Take my balls. It seems block on this character ain't so bad, actually. Probably because, uh, like, she gets so much block. It actually starts stacking quite nicely. Although, if I didn't have range 5 and area 5, I think this um, would go a bit better. Yeah, auto-aim on this fight just really, really sucks. And I really want the next boss they add because I love the boss in this game. I want them to be really fucking stupid hard. Like, really, really stupid hard. Like, even more bullshit than this. But don't make them so they run at you at full speed. I think the first boss is not that fun whenever he charges like seven times at you and then he kind of combos you to death, right? Well, guys, it seems that I am a gamer, right? He's dead and that means two things. One, I am the best and that's just it. Or Gun Slaves 402 was right. Oh, the orbs dealt quite a lot of damage. I might need those go. One million. Not that bad. Surprisingly, not that bad. But yeah, I can see Transfiction just carried hard. This was really good somehow. Alright, yeah, so I beat the hardest challenge in Holes of Torment. With a character I never played before. Literally the first time. Had no clue what she did. But uh, that was quite uh, the thing. Yeah, I the game is pretty easy. Let's be fair. It is pretty easy. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. This game is a ton of fun. And yeah, whenever it gets more content, I'll cover it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.